Okay, before we even get started, I know there's something that I'm missing from this video, and I apologize because unfortunately, I don't have any pearls to clutch. Welcome to Escaping the Echo Chamber. Right now, conservatives on the internet are losing their minds, they're outraged, they're offended, they're personally aggrieved. This is unacceptable, what has happened. There's a state senator from Rhode Island by the name of Tiara Mack. She has done the unthinkable. She has done what clearly makes her unfit for office and I do declare, she has twerked on camera. So wearing a bikini, she gets on camera, gets upside down. <laughs> She's twerking on a headstand. Okay, it's amusing. It's amusing, but what's really amusing is how these conservatives are reacting. Now you may say, no, that's inappropriate. A state center shouldn't be doing that sort of thing. And I'm like, huh, I could have sworn like we've had a couple of presidents that have been accused of sexual assault. This guy, the guy that's in office right now, the guy before him had like 21 accusations of various sorts of sexual misconduct. Two guys, those two guys didn't seem to have that thing, but then the guy before them had some accusations and used the Oval Office to engage in some extracurricular activities, but state senator Tiara Mack is a step too far. Okay, let's keep going. Because those will say there are those who will say, well, we didn't like Clinton either. But you were cool with Trump. Because right now there's a bunch of people that are conservatives that support Trump, voted for Trump twice, and will vote for him again when he decides to run. If he decides to run. Like right now they're singing his praises. Oh, he's so great, he was the greatest president ever. And people criticized his complete lack of morality and the fact that, wait, how can you support Donald Trump, a, a serial womanizer, serial adulterer, who bragged about his, his constant affairs? How could you support that guy and still claim the label of conservative Christian? Conservative Christian, social conservative, how can you jive the two? And they would say stuff like, well, we're, we're voting for president, not pastor. Well, guess what? Tiara Mack is running for senator, not a saint. Okay, but it goes deeper, it gets deeper. The, the lack of logic, the lack of consistency, the amnesia that people must be experiencing to be outraged about Tiara Mack and then forget about all of the stuff that Donald Trump did. Let's, let's recap, let's remind people. Okay, so Donald Trump, grab him by the pussy. Donald, grab him by the pussy Trump. Let's start with there. While on a hot mic is bragging about just kissing women, without asking, without permission, and, and without any indication that they even want to be kissed. And hey, they'll let you do anything because you're a star. They'll let you do anything. Uh, okay, he says that after telling the story about how he's trying to sleep with a married woman. Okay, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. This is the same Donald Trump, who, as I said, was a serial adulterer. Marriage after marriage after marriage. But these moral conservatives, these arbiters of morality, got no problem with that. Let's keep going. Same dude that sleeps with the porn star while he's married, pays her to shut up, and then lies about it. That's the same dude. No problem with him, but Tiara Mack, she's a problem. Okay, let's keep going. This is the same dude who said, hey, yeah, I banged my daughter, but I'm married. This is the same dude. So. I really, really, truly, 1,000% do not want to hear shit from the people that support Donald Trump and now are acting like Tiara Mack is, oh, unfit for office because she's twerking on video. Are you fucking serious? Does your hypocrisy know no bounds? Like there's no way you can jive the two, but, but you're in an echo chamber of people who are pretending none of the stuff that I just mentioned that's documented. This is including stuff that's come out of his own mouth. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't matter. You didn't have any problem with his complete and utter la lack of morals, of values, and how they completely conflicted with your, with your claims of Christian virtue, but you got a problem with Tiara Mack because she's twerking on video. Seriously, there's no justification. There's no rhyme or reason. There's no way to jive the two. There's no way. There's no way you can say, oh, he's good, Oh, but she's, oh no, she's disgusting. You're some absolute clowns that have no integrity, no principles. You stand for nothing. Stop the virtue signaling. Stop the, the convenient putting on of your morality because you had no problem taking it off 
when it when it went into your favor. When you could vote for this guy and support this guy because you were owning the libs. Don't act like you like morality matters to you because it didn't matter to you when you voted for him and then you voted for him again and you're going to vote for him again. It doesn't matter to you. Stop. Nobody believes you. We don't believe you. We see you. We see straight through you. Morality means nothing to you. It's a, it's a, it's a crutch that you bring out every now and again to try to shame your opponents. You have no, you have no consistency. You have no integrity. You stand for nothing. Stop the cap. And I was having this conversation with my mother the other week before this. And I was like, I, I said, at this point, they can't ever, these so-called conservatives can't ever stand and pretend that they actually care about morality. Silly me. I forgot how huge hypocrisy is with y'all. As always, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. But if you disagree with me, if you think, no, you're out of line, she's unfit for office and, and she's, she's just doing that on camera, that's, oh, well, I never. Feel free to give me a thumbs down and state in the comment section, have you always been a hypocrite or are you just starting now? I'll see you next time.